Hi everybody, this is Alchemist 2, and I'm back again with another movie review. I just recently watched Terry Nam, which was <clears throat> suggested to me by um, a wonderful YouTube subscriber of mine. And of course it stars Salman Khan, who is another self-proclaimed Bashta of Bollywood, much like Sharuk. Um, I had never seen a film with Salman in it, and I really like Salman. He portrays this character just spectacularly well, and it's, it's based on a true story. And he plays this ruffian, this ne'er-do-well, bellicose man named Radha, and he's, um, he becomes a little bit softer when he meets Najara, and Najara, she's the daughter of a, a local priest, and she's engaged to be married to to Rama, and <clears throat> of course Radha, Radha falls just in love with her, and <laughs> she even mentions to him, do you know that you actually have a name that's familiar, it's similar with Lord Krishna's, I thought, oh, that's, that's not coincidental, and because she, her family actually worships Krishna, and I thought, yeah, there's a... <laughs> <laughs> definite auspiciousness in that and it's like it's meant to be um i love the music in this all, all the songs and terra nam oh, that that's my favorite of, of all uh the songs involved the, the dancing and actually there was a song in this that just brought me to tears i was oh it was just utterly tragic but um <clears throat> Radha actually undergoes a, a transformation, but unfortunately he kidnaps Najara in the process, and I think there's a bit of Stockholm going on in that particular incident, but, you know, they, they actually have a love for one another. He he proclaims his love to her. He pronounces Tere Nam, and in your name, I am devoted for you. You are the one who is who's created for me since birth and my other lifetimes. I belong to you, your heart, my heart, it's yours. And um, he's still constantly getting himself into fights and his brothers are trying to um, keep him away from being such a firecracker, but unfortunately it, it doesn't quite work for him. And um, he gets himself into trouble later on with a rival gang and there's some political things that are going on as well in this film. And being um, NRI, I, I didn't quite understand, so I, I need a little bit of explanation. All I know is that something political was going on. Um, but I, I do know that <clears throat> Rodhead gets himself into quite the pickle. And there's a gang that... He has a tussle. I mean, it's not really a tussle. They beat the crap out of him. I thought, at, at first, I thought, I never really believed that um, people in India could be violent. But I guess if you're Punjab, no, I don't think that's true. I don't. I'm not certain. I know that if you're Hindustani, you don't. You you just you're a pacifist. You cannot. It's against your nature. And um, I think at, <laughs> at my core, I might be. Hindustani myself, and that's actually why I'm, I'm writing um, a script called Hinduani, and <laughs> Hinduani is a term that I came up with, and I'm actually going to read my definition for Hinduani. Uh, yeah, it's funny, because my, my main characters are named Simi and Raj. <laughs> I wonder where I got that from. But, uh, Hinduani, noun, adjective, a person who isn't Hindu by nature, but tries by default to learn all they can about India, even to the point of speaking Hindi, and by proxy learn Hindu, Urdu as well, since they are 90% alike. In regular speech, they have an acute Indian accent and even a precious head bobble used in the sentence, and we can be quite the Hinduani. But, uh, <laughs> I just thought, yay, I'm actually doing this, I'm doing the second one. Yeah, it never ends. But anywho, back to uh, Terry Nam. Uh, I just, it's like Kal no, Kal Ho Naho. Kal Ho Naho. Yeah, I'll say it right. Kal Ho Naho. Um, I was just stricken by how unbelievably tragic this story was. And the fact it's based on a true story makes it even more so. But it is just 
a, a real it's a gem it truly is i mean if you want to see the depths of love and the madness of love yeah there's a definite craziness to it um when he gets assaulted and go has to go to the ashram i just i bawled i was i was literally crying rivers of tears and it's solomon he just oh this, his acting her acting too i don't remember her name her um the actress who plays her part but just the love they have for each other and the ending is just exactly like romeo and juliet except um our romeo doesn't kill himself he goes back to the ashram because he can't live without her it's oh it just oh i was i was crushed it's just the most tragic film i have ever seen but by all means, if, if you've seen other Bollywood films and you think they're all the same and you think they're all happy, um, <laughs> yeah, watch this one. Watch Kalho uh, Watch Lagan. Oh my gosh. When I'm going to talk about Lagan for a minute and I'm going to compare the two. Uh, Lagan is similar. Well, this is even t sadder than Lagan, but. Um, it, I love it. I'm keeping it. It's in my. Uh, it's another jewel in my crown. So it's gonna go in my library. But um, it's similar to Lagan because you've got a, a character who loves another character, but that love is unrequited. And this other character is getting married to another. And when I saw Lagan the first time, I cried. I thought, oh, poor Elizabeth. I mean, she just. God love her, but. This is even worse than that. I mean, and it keeps getting worse. And I thought, oh my lord, oh my heart, my heart. But it's just, um, really, it's a it's a wonderful film. Music is excellent, and uh, it just it shows the delirium of falling in love and what it can do, and uh, certain circumstances, unfortunate ones that lead to the ending. I'm sorry for giving away the ending, but it's very much um, a Romeo and Juliet tale. It, it, it Actually, it's very akin to that, but I, I loved every minute of it. I just absolutely adored it. And um, to my fellow subscriber, I thank you for letting me uh, finally get a chance to see this. And... Uh, so, I, I like Salman, <laughs> and uh, we get to see quite a bit of Salman. Mmm, mm, yummy, but uh, <laughs> it, it was more about, this. it, it kind of reminds me of some stories. Uh, there's a similar tale in the Bible where you've got the, um, the one tax collector who's who's saying all of his prayers and doing everything right and of course uh pharisee says well i'm glad i'm not like this tax collector here who's just openly babbling in the streets and all that but in fact it's the tax collector that is succeeding everybody else but the same thing here with um uh radha he even the guru says he has over, I mean, not, not the guru, but uh, Rama says he is better than me. He's better than me. He's better than you. He's better than everybody around us because he defended his, um, his insane sister's honor. As a sister's, um, either, I think she's deaf, but she can't speak well. Or she has selective mutism. I can't figure. She she goes, eh, eh. You know, when she wants something, he he knows. He's, give her a chai. And I thought, oh, he's, oh, he's so sweet and generous. And he's got a kindness. To, I mean, he's got a, the softness to him. And he shows that with her all the time. He, he, but he's got a lot of fire. And he's just, he's very violent. And um, it's just... It also broke my heart with the whole mental um, disease thing. Uh, 
I can tell you for a fact that people with uh, mental illnesses are not treated like they should be, even over here in this country. Um, it's it's an epidemic, and on honestly, they should be treated like human beings instead of those who have a disorder. It's not a disorder. It can be helped and it can be taken care of in a humane way. And I think there are ways that you can do that. I just haven't come to a conclusion on how to. But anyway, as far as films are concerned, this one gets two thumbs up for me. Five, five stars, hands down. No contesting to that. Beautiful film. Heartbreaking, heartrending. Just be warned. I bald buckets and <laughs> I'm still a little bit kind of <laughs> geez I'm gonna cry again but the ending oh it just uh, rent my heart but it, it was wonderful and you know there's some scenes here that I wanted to incorporate into Hinduani and the astute eye when they read my script they'll say ah you got that from Taranam so it's gonna be my little love letter in a way to that but it won't be a sad story it'll be a happy one uh that's about all i have to say until next time live long prosper ciao tutti namaste